Hey, welcome to another short of uh, From Beer 30. I'm Greg. I'm Josh. Today, we are going to see if we can tell the difference between can and bottle. So I guess my, uh, my, my opinion of cans versus bottle is what led you to want to try this challenge. And I've always been one that I have pretty much uh, bought exclusively bottles and I never could stand drinking out of a can because I could always uh, tell that metallic taste or at least that's always been my my theory and Greg thinks that I'm crazy yeah because of it. this is actually something that uh, my brother Jeff uh, said that we should try um, this is more for him because he I don't really say this as, as much but I want to see if I can tell the difference as well so uh, we ended up getting the Schlafly summer lager it's it's a beer we we enjoy we both enjoy this and it's it's newer because they both have their new logo on it so we're we're pretty much in the same time range do they have dates well this one march 31st on the can and, and may uh 14th on oh, the bottle so that's that's really it's really they're uh, within weeks two weeks so. No. Six weeks. March 31st. Oh, March. Okay. So, six weeks. I think it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so uh, a little interesting fun fact is uh, Summer Lager was the very first Beer 30 episode, right? It was, yeah. And we're a year old. Yeah, we're now a year right. old. Oh, yeah. So this is actually the And first. we hit over 100 likes on yeah. Facebook. Oh, yeah. Still waiting for that over 100 on uh, YouTube, but... Uh, so subscribe, please. Yeah, please. All right, for Greg, I'm setting up to put the bottle of the summer lager into the St. Louis Sport Zone glass. And for the can of the summer lager, it's going to be put into the Budweiser glass. We're going to take Schlafly Summer bottle and can. See if we can tell the difference. So, this is going to be Josh's bottle. And the bud glass here will be the can. So All right, give this so a try. let me, I'll go first. Um, so we randomly, so we have the same glasses here. We randomly, behind closed doors, poured for each other. And yeah. We'll show those. Um, but let's see. I'm sure they're going to smell the same. Or we'll see. Well, should we do this together, or you want to do it? You can do it at the same time. I'm actually thinking that the that this one has a little bit better aroma. I almost automatically I'm kind of leaning towards I know which one this is. Huh. Hmm. You know, I, and and uh, just just knowing that I poured mine before you poured yours yeah. and seeing yours come out, I thought that I already had a dead giveaway. Like I thought I knew what this one was, but now I'm having second thoughts and I'm thinking that I know what that one is. So. By appearance and by smell, I think I'm conflicted already. I seriously, I don't really see much difference. I maybe by scent alone, I'm already thinking one, but Hmm. One's a little warmer. One is a little warmer, and I think that's kind of a giveaway, unfortunately. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, well, here's what I was thinking initially, was I saw this one when you brought it out, it foamed up quite a bit, and when I poured the can in mine, I poured them at the, at the bottom of the can about the same speed, you know, the same pour, I gave them the same pour, and the can seemed like it foamed up a lot more. Really? Than the bottle whenever I poured them, so that's why I thought this one. When mine came out though; they're both yeah. pretty foamy. That's why I thought this one, and, and that one still has a, a head yeah. on it for you. Uh, but I had thought this one was the the can that you had poured. But then after I started smelling them, I thought that this one smelled more like that 
metallic, it had that metallic scent to it. And I could pick that up right away. And this is the one that's, but I should say, this is the one that's warmer, which I would think would have probably been the bottle since we just bought it. And it was out, it had a little transportation time to it. Yeah, but it was in the freezer. Oh, shoot. Wow. This is a hard choice, but this one, I'm saying this one's the can because it has the metallic smell to it. I can I can smell it. If I'm wrong, then obviously it's all in my head. I felt the same way about uh, the this one. So I'm going to say that this bud is the can and the other glass, the St. Louis Zone glass, is the bottle. Okay, and I'm saying, I'm saying the St. Louis Sports Zone is the can, and the bud is the bottle. Okay. Well, you were absolutely right. You got Was your, I? You got yours right. Well, you were absolutely wrong. <laughs> no! Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. The this can. is this this is the can. That's the can. But well, see, I thought it was the can because it foamed up so much. But I swear, I get the metallic scent from this one. Wow. <laughs> and really, that's, that's just, crazy. That's really a guess. They're very close. I can't. I, I'm telling you though, I pick up a different smell on this one, and I could have swore I I would have put money on it that this was the can because really? I could smell a difference. Wow, that is bizarre. Well, Greg's the guy who believes that he can do the challenge of all of the the macro beers and the macro yeah, light the, beers. The, the Bud Bud Light, Coors Light, and Miller Light. I think I'd be able to handle that no problem. And you thought you could hand you'd be able to handle Bush, Budweiser, and Miller. Highlight, yeah, right? yeah, I think I could do that too. So we're gonna have to do that challenge. So next, that goes to show you, man. I can't believe I failed that. Cans, cans win then. Wow. Since you have no, uh, that's it crazy. Really means nothing. I'm really in shock, actually. Good so there job, you go. Baby. Did it, you guess, or did you feel like you really had one strong sense over the other? I was thinking this was can from the beginning. I. I thought it had sort of a metallic, kind of like you were yeah. thinking, but then I smelled the other, and they both kind of they have the same. same. So I just went with my first instinct. Mm. It, it, it's all a guess. <laughs> you know, I just guessed correctly. All right. Well, but, I thought I had something. But obviously, down, but. if you have a good beer, and if it's in a can yeah. or a bottle, you are not. You pour it in a glass, you're not gonna know the difference. And that's what I always do. I mean, and when even whenever I would have the uh, lesser beers, the Nat Lights and the Bud Lights and things like that, I I couldn't stand drinking them out of a can. I always had to pour it in a glass. Yeah. So, so. Oh well. I failed. There you go. It's all superstition. It's the all in my head. Bottles and cans. Just clap your hands. Just clap your hands. That's where it's at. Yep. See ya.